Right, uh, in the figure shown, shaft A is made of hot rolled steel with those properties, and it says fully corrected endurance limit uh, using uh, a KC of 0.59, that means uh, under torsion, pure torsion. Uh, is welded to a fixed support and is subjected to a loading by equal and opposite forces F via shaft B. Theoretical stress concentration factors, so those are fatigue because we have a subindex of F and FS, are induced in the shaft by the 1 8 inch weld fillet, fillet. The length of the shaft from the fixed support to the connection at shaft B is 2 feet. Uh, the load F cycles from minus 272 to plus 228, 278, plus 228. Find a factor of safety for infinite life using the Goodman fatigue failure criterion. So what the problem is asking for us is to calculate the factor of safety. And so Goodman is comparing the alternating stress to the endurance limit and the mean stress to the ultimate strength and then one over that would be a factor of safety now the rule here is that you use a load marine factor of one if you want to use one mises you have one more than one type of stress but if it's only one type of stress, axial, torsion, or bending, you use whatever the marine factor gives you. So in this case, they're telling me that the SE, endurance limit that they're giving me, already includes at the 0.59, meaning I should be using tau, not von Mises. So I have two options to solve this problem. Either use this equation of Goodman for the, for the, for the factor of safety, or, and, and use uh, von Mises, and then I will have to use another SE, different than this. Basically, I would have to do 13 divided by 0.59 to get a 22 something that I would be able to compare to a von Mises, or just use this with tiles. Right? I don't wanna do two extra calculations of getting a von Mises when I actually only have shearing stresses or and getting an endurance factor different than the one that they gave me here. I can just use the actual the total uh, stress here is just the shearing stress no von Mises and compare that to the actual SE of 13 that I was given. Right. So let's analyze this. I have two forces here F and F so there's going to be a torque. There are no compression. This is not either bending up or down because these two cancel out. So basically I just have no, uh, no bending, no compression, no tension, and only shearing. That's why my tau is equal to Tc over J. And then there's a stress concentration here. Yeah, this is, this is true anywhere on the surface of the, of the shaft A but uh, at the stress concentration anywhere. Again, it doesn't need to be here or here or here anywhere. It's gonna be a KFS from the machinery, right? And uh, it's just identifying what t t uh, tau A and tau M are gonna be. So this would be with the torque, uh, alternating torque and the mean torque, or I can just find an expression for tau and then use um, uh, substitute the values t for for the different torques uh, maximum and minimum so uh, that's what I'm going to do I have that the torque is equal to this distance times f and this distance times f or basically this distance times f times 2 so this is going to be distance of 1 inch times the force times 2 because there's two of them basically 2f so the max torque is going to be 2 times 228 positive one which is uh, 556 uh, pound inches and t min or the other end would be two times minus 278 
actually this is this is four fifty six and this is gonna be five fifty six this being negative okay so in average the mean would be minus 50 and the alternating would be and these two added up uh, 10 12 divided by 2 5 oh, 6 okay and with those values I can calculate my tau a and tau m so tau a I know that this ends up being a 16 t over pi d cubed times k of s so this is going to be 16 that value fs i only need this one because it's under torsion there's no normal stresses so times 1.3 divided by pi and then the diameter is this diameter 7 8 cubed and then for m i will be using the mean value here 16 times minus 50 times 1.3 divided by pi 7 8 cubed and now tau a uh, is 490 something but the problem asking asks me to round the stresses to the nearest tenth so 4.90 something ends up being a 5 ksi and tm is 0 0.5 ksi and then I just go back here and would be equal to uh, 5 divided by the SE that I was given. Again, I don't need to change it because that's only already accounting for torsion T, uh, tau from the torsion, not the von Mises. So this is just 13. Plus the, the mean, so this is negative, minus 0 0.5. From this negative, this is negative. Minus 0 0.5 over. 36.9 to the minus 1 and then this gives me a factor of safety of 2.7 and that's my answer here